Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own karaoke version of any song you want. Um, I'm doing this tutorial in Sony Vegas 7 just to show you that it is possible to do in Sony Vegas 7 and it's not hard. The only problem is it is very time consuming. Um, so to get started we need both the instrumental of the song, which you're going to be using the most, and the original song. You don't need the original song, but uh, it can come helpful. So to set our preset up, we want to have three tracks. Um, I usually have the instrumental on the first or the third, and then I have the uh, main one with lyrics on the next. And now we're going to put in our first set of lyrics. So we want to go to media generators and then find text. Now this will be our first set of title cards. So I usually use soft, soft shadow. You can use default text, it doesn't matter, any one you want. Um, so I'm going to import Soft Shadow. And make sure you have at least one video track. Didn't do that. Anyway, so here's our first video track. And we're going to line this up with this first set of lyrics. So as you see right now, both the instrumental version and the version with lyrics are going at the same time. So we want to disable the instrumental version for right now, so we just do the lyric version. So to, to disable or mute the, the instrumental track, we want to go over here to the track properties and find mute. Okay, so now we're going to line the actual first set of lyrics or title cards with the audio. All right. So first, after so after you've put in the first title card and lined it up with the first set of music, you want to know where the first set of music ends. So I'm getting my lyrics off of a site where it has it's in blocks, and what I basically do is copy this and then go into the media generators or the video event FX and paste it in here. And now what we have to do is shorten the title card to where the block of music ends. Alright, so that's where it ends. Alright, and now we can actually start the actual karaoke effect. Um, first what I'm going to do is split the audio, just make sure that it ends right there. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, you want to insert another video track and have it below the actual title card. And now we want to go back to Media Generators and find Solid Color. Now you can pick any solid color you want. I usually use blue or red, but just because I'm out of the ordinary, I'll pick green. Alright, now what I want to do is go back into the title card video event FX, find the properties, set the text uh, alpha to zero, and bring the background color up. Now I want to go to the effects and draw an outline. And I usually make the outline white, depending on the background color. Alright, and then exit out. Now you can always change the color doesn't matter. Uh, those effects are just basic and you can change them whenever you want. Okay, so now for the actual effect. So basically what we're going to be doing is animating this solid color to move with the lyrics. Um, it's actually very simple. If Let's actually look into the event pan and crop window. It's right here. It's the little square. If we look in this, we can actually see that if you move the pan, you actually see how the it moves with the with the words. Which is a pretty cool effect. I like how that works. Um, so yeah, and so basically we're gonna have be editing one. We're gonna basically edit one line at a time, um, and so this is where it becomes real time consuming. So what we want to do is split the clip right where the first line of audio ends. So right here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is right click on the or go right click on the solid color, 
find the event video event pan crop or you can just click on the event pan crop and what we want to do is go to the beginning and start making sure you can just line it up and test it out and take or drag the timeline bring it all the way over what I usually do is I um, go one one frame right below so one frame before it ends just so I can see where it starts and um, yeah that's good There we go. And as you see, if we go from the beginning, watch what will happen. And you have the karaoke effect. So now to actually go onto the second line. This is a little more complicating, but really it's not. So what we want to do is do the same thing that we did with the first line of or line of audio, and that was to split the clip right where the first where the second line of audio ends. Sky's the limit, don't tell me what we gonna do. Right here. Zoom in on this so I don't lose my place. Gotta be exact on this. Alright, and now what we're gonna do is insert another video track. Bring everything on top. And what we're gonna do is take another solid color and drag it right on the timeline. Now, before we even use this one, we want to disable it and go back into the original one and find the event pan and crop and line it up so it just covers the first one because basically um, if you go through the first line of text has already been covered so we want to start the second line of text but you're not going to have the first one uncovered you want this one covered as well so that's basically what what, why we still need this one, um, and that's why we need two in this in this case. We don't need three. Uh, I don't feel like there's any other case to have three, and it's very it's hard to see all all the tracks. So I really don't uh, recommend doing that. Anyway, so what we want to do is split it right there, and we can undisable this track, and go to the event pan and crop, and get it so you just have the second line, just like the original one. and bring out the timeline line and drag it all the way across ooh it's hard to it's actually really hard to uh keep it in place without it moving ah there we go and let's see how this works. Let's start from the beginning. Alright, it works. So let's say we at any time we wanted to maybe speed up the, the media generator, the solid color, so it goes a little faster with the lyrics. Very simple. All you have to do is go back into the uh, solid color uh, that was animated and take the keyframe and move it closer in. Sky's the limit, don't tell me what we don't do. Faster. If you want to make it slower, all you have to do is drag it right back out. Slower or slower is out, faster is in. And all you have to do is do that for the rest of them. Here is the full first block of audio for the song. Y'all on one, well we on two The sky's the limit, gon' tell me what we gon' do No worries in the world, cause I'm with my crew We gon' skip right through, and live it like our last night now, The absolute last thing you have to do is unmute the instrumental And mute the one with vocals Now it's not too fancy, and it's not too unfancy It's just in the middle, not too great, but it works it gets the effect done, and that's all I wanted to do. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please post them below, and I will see you later. Bye.